watching this video, you will learn the steps for adding the information from a denture try-in to an existing order after having the denture checked and adjusted in the patient's mouth. The procedure described is valid for upper and lower jaw denture cases as well as single jaw cases. Start the case as usual by creating the order. Scan the models and design the denture. The try-in denture design is manufactured using either printing or milling. When you have the try-in denture ready, send it to the dentist to check in the patient's mouth. Once the try-in denture has been checked and physically adjusted, you can scan it and add the updated shape to the existing order. The try-in model becomes available as a visual guide during all design steps for aligning adjustments with the original denture. To start the procedure of capturing modifications made during a fitting session, find the existing try-in order and right-click. On the drop-down menu, select Copy, and then click Copy and Reuse CAD Design. The new order will be created with all the settings and designs transferred from the old one. Modify the order, updating the assembly type and the material for the final denture. The order has the denture pre-design option already chosen, meaning that the try-in scan will be added to the scanning workflow. Now press Scan to get to Scan It Dental, having scanned try-ins in occlusion as the first step. Make sure that the Scan Try-ins from Both Sides option is chosen to enable the full scanning scenario. Otherwise, the system will capture vestibular side modifications only. The three-step workflow allows you to transfer the modified occlusion and the adjusted shape of the dentures back to the software and align it with the existing designs. Start by fixing both try-ins in occlusion on the scanning plate using Bluetack. Then insert the plate into the scanner. For scanners with the auto scan option, the procedure starts automatically. When scanning is finished, align the upper unmodified try-in design to a new modified occlusion scan using one or three-point alignment. When ready, click Next and go to the Scan Maxillary Try-In step. Mount the upper try-in, having the teeth facing upwards on the scanning plate using Bluetack. Put the Bluetack under the front teeth only during placement and angle the denture in a way that the posterior teeth are higher than the anteriors. Then insert the plate into the scanner. When scanned, trim the part of the scan with Bluetack using the cutting plane tool. Now flip the try-in denture on the plate and scan its bottom part. Insert the plate in the scanner and scan. And when scanned, trim away the part with Bluetack one more time. After scanning both sides, the software will align it together. You can adjust the alignment using one or three point alignment if necessary. Having a scan of the upper try in ready, align it with the new occlusion scan using one or three point alignment. Then click Next to go to Scan Mandibular Try-In. Mount the mandibular try-in on the plate, having teeth facing upwards. The model has to be tilted in the same manner like the upper denture. Insert the plate into the scanner. When scanned, trim away the part of the scan that contains Bluetack and click Next. Now flip the denture to scan the bottom side.
When scanned, trim away the part of the scan that contains Bluetack and click Next. When scanned, check automatic alignment of both sides. Adjust if necessary. Then click Next to align the scan of the lower try-in to the new byte using one or three-point alignment. And finally, after clicking Next, align the modified try-in to the unmodified try-in design. When finished, click Next and inspect the output for Dental Designer. You should have scans of upper and lower modified try-ins, vestibular scan, original preparation scans in a new occlusion. Now click the Design button to move on to Dental Designer and go through the redesign process. All settings from the previous design, like occlusal plane, characteristic points, and the upper and lower jaw boundary will be transferred from the old design and you can always adjust it. Use the models of the modified try-ins as a visual guide for the changes. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.